Hey everyone, so um, I got a new wig in the mail yesterday and i um, kind of excited to come on here and show it to you. Um, I got it just out of the box and it is a John Renault Smart Lace. So, so a little history. Um, I really haven't bought John Renault because I have a big head. Um, I have a John Renault topper and it didn't fit me very well, so I had to clip the back in order for it to get it to lay down on my head. So I didn't think that the John Renault uh, wigs would actually work for me. But um, I've been watching a lot of reviews, I've been looking at a lot of different things, and um, this one happens to be the. I don't know if you can see it it's Miranda and it is in the color 12 FS8 which is shaded praline so um, I, I watched a ton of videos there there are a ton of videos out there on this Miranda but one of the things that I noticed is most of the reviews on Miranda are older they're anywhere from four to you know four to one year old so um, at least when I was looking, that's what I was able to find. Um, but anyway, so I wanted to come on here and uh, open the, do an open boxing for you guys so you could see um, what I got. And I'm very excited about it because if this works for me, I will be so happy. Um, like I said, I've just, I've just totally ignored the John Renault line because I didn't feel like I would be able to wear it. And I didn't, their, their stuff tends to be a little bit more expensive. So... I've kind of stayed away from it, but, but anyways, I had several reviews that said that this, this wig, Miranda, is running a little larger, so I'm hoping they're right, but anyways, uh, let's get started, so we're going to open it, and of course, what we get in the box, you get this little John Renault care card, um, I guess it, it's going to, you know, talk about their products and explain for you how to take care of your synthetic fibers or your human hair so you get that and they sent me a little fishnet wig cap so I do have one of the fishnets and I do kind of like it um, I at least feel like I, my head's able to breathe a little bit because I'm very very hot natured and this one says new stretch net comfort so maybe it's going to be a little bit bigger and then in the box I got this little thank you card um, from the wig outlet. So, and I'm sure that this this is a return um, because you know someone wasn't happy with it. But um, let me just tell you that I'm wearing Olivia by Trezzler in Mimosa HL. I'm absolutely in love with this wig. Um, of course, you guys know I've made many videos on it. Um, and I've done some color spotlights, so you know if you haven't got one yet and you halfway like this, I would suggest you go and get one because they are just I mean they're not there's not a lace front on it, but I'm kind of feeling like I don't really care for the lace fronts too much because they really just itch my head and if it doesn't have a lace front and I'm wearing it all day, it, I don't feel it. but when I put the, when I put one on with a lace front, I feel like it's just scratching me, itching me all day long. So I don't know what the solution there is, but anyways, um, got sidetracked there. But anyway, so, okay, so uh, I'm gonna take it out of the box. So it's wrapped in tissue paper and it is, looks like it's pinned in two places, but it's, it's got like a little net on it. It's got the net on it. So I'm gonna take it out. I hope you guys are doing good tonight. Um, hope you guys are all having a good weekend, or at least a start to a good weekend. Um, anyways, I'm gonna I'm gonna take it out of the net, and one of the things with my topper, I had this color, the 12 FS8. And uh, when I, it was my second purchase. Um, and I 
felt like it was so dark. I was just like, oh my goodness, I'm not going to be able to wear this. It's too dark. Because I was a blonde my whole life. You know what I mean? Ever since I was like 18 years old and I was able to start dyeing my hair. But um, anyways, in the last year or so, I've been wearing my topper every day. And last fall, I started wearing the dark colors. So when I started putting that back on, I was like, oh, this, this, is, this is perfect. Because, you know, my natural hair is dark a little. It's not dark. It's like an ash brown, like a light ash brown. But um, anyways, so I decided to try this color again because it is a beautiful color. But anyways, this is the John Renault Miranda in the 12 FS8. I think it says shaded praline. So that's the color. That root is, it It looks so much darker on my topper. And uh, it is interesting how when you buy a wig and you get a topper and a wig, sometimes the the colors look totally different on one wig versus another based on the cut and the style, you know. So anyway, so this is it. And uh, she is a, she has a smart lace front which it looks like that lace goes pretty far down, almost to the ear tabs, to the edge of the ear tabs. So it goes all the way over, which, oh, I hope that doesn't drive me crazy. Um, she's a mono part. She is a synthetic wig, not, not human. And it says 100% mode acrylic, and it's uh, made in Indonesia. It has velvet ear tabs, which that feels really nice, and a velvet nape. Um, it's an average cap, and I don't. I only have one wig that I purchased in large, and um, those actually ended up being a little too big for me. I ended up kind of trying to constantly pull them on, but. Um, Anyway, so that's it. She's just a basic cap with the mono part and a left side, a left side mono. Okay, so she is ten and a half in the front right here. This is ten, supposedly ten and a half, which that first layer looks like it's. It might be ten and a half. It's, it seems more like it's about maybe seven or eight. But um, the crown is twelve point five from here down. Um, the sides are eleven, which is right here from here to here, all the way down is to eleven. And the nape is twelve back here, and she weighs five ounces. So um, I. I'm going to try her on. So I'm going to step aside. It'll just take me a second and I'm going to put her on and I'll be right back. Oh my goodness. Get all them hairs on your face. You're gonna need some work. That roots. That root is not too dark um, compared to the first time I put a John Renault on or this color on. The root just seems so dark. I was just like, oh. And that was before um, I I dyed my hair all along since I was young, and that was before my hair had turned back to its natural color because I. I really haven't dyed my hair in about two years, so um, it's my natural color now, but that, I don't think those knots look too dark, to be honest with you, and it's definitely got that part there, you can see the, the top, looks good, um, feels like a lot of hair, but I don't know if it's just because it's in my face right now. Definitely, definitely soft. Throw that back there. All 
All right, so so this side is show is probably about ten. Um, this side, I don't well, I guess or maybe they're even. I don't know. Um, this is your sides, which are eleven, and then this is your crown from here back, which is twelve point five. And then your nape is 12. So, so anyways. And I did forget to mention that she does have the Velcro draw straps on here. So if you like the draw strap, if you like those Velcro straps, you'll, you'll like this one. Um, but yeah. Very pretty. Liking it a lot. You guys will have to let me know what you think. Um, the cap feels good. I don't. I would. I'm so worried about the cap being too small and purchasing a wig that's going to be too small. But um, it it feels fine. Doesn't feel like it's slipping up the back. See, I don't have that occipital bone that's in the back that gives your like holds your wig on. Mine is just, my head is just kind of f just flat up straight, so I don't have that bone to catch my wig, so I have a tendency to have a uh, slippage there in the back. But, um, let's see. She's tuckable. You can definitely tuck her. Wow, I'm so excited, you guys. This is just going to open up new doors for me to be able to buy John Renault. Um, like I said, this is just very, very exciting. Um, and like I said, that lace front looks amazingly real. I just, and it does go all the way back to about right there. So it's a full lace front. So anyways, um, see if I had anything else to tell you about it. Um, it is from the smart lace, uh, Smart Lace Collection. So it's got the lace in the front. And let me see. That lace goes all the way to right there. Starts there. Goes all the way across the top. And I will be honest. It does not feel as itchy as the ones, the ones that I have from Aesthetica. They just, I don't know. I think the lace may just be a little bit more coarse. And it just really, really does kind of itch. Oh, gosh, you guys. These fibers are unreal. So nice. I'm just so excited. And you guys will have to let me know what you think. But anyways, um, I just wanted to tell you all about this. Like I said, I know there's tons of reviews out there on this. But I did feel like there wasn't a lot of current reviews. So it's possible that John Renault has made some adjustments maybe in the cap size, in the fibers, you know, in the last two to four years, they've, they've made changes. So, like I said, I, I, I didn't see a lot of reviews out there that were current, you know. But now, I did watch a review where Heather from Sister Wigs did this, um, and she did talk about the cap being larger. So, that's why I went ahead and made, you know, the jump and took one, or and bought one, I mean. So, anyways, um, yeah, so I'm excited. I just can't believe I got a new wig for my collection. Um, like I said, it's just it's just so amazing. It just makes you feel so good and so much better. So, anyways, um, I hope you guys have a good evening, and I just I love all you guys just you know chatting with me and talking to me. And like I said, you know it just helps it helps us get through the day knowing we don't have hair and we're struggling with this hair loss situation. But Anyways, um, I'm going to pray that the Lord blesses you all, and I'm going to say good night, and I'll talk to you later. Bye.